Hello again. This is a video response to Psychosomaticus, who asked how I avoid breakouts after having so much makeup on with my Jotun Loki costume or with the Rumpelstiltskin. And um, I decided I would go ahead and show you a bit of my daily routine, what I do when I wake up, what I do when I go to bed, and also what I do when I take off all the makeup after a con. So, you can watch and enjoy, and I hope you learn something, and maybe I can even point you in the right direction for a product that you'll be able to use in the future. I am obsessed with the company Origins. Everything from their powder, to their moisturizer, to their eye creams, it's all amazing. Um, that's exclusively what I use for my face. So, if you haven't heard of them before, definitely go and take a look. I'll just go down the line and show you what I have. First off, we have the Perfect World Antioxidant Cleaner, which is just a face cleanser that I use every morning and every night. We have the Clear Improvements, which I only use probably about once a week or after any con when I have the uh, Jotun Loki costume on. Um, it really gets down deep in the pores. It's actually a charcoal mask. So you leave it on, let it dry, and wash it off, and oh, your skin feels amazing afterwards. Then we have a moisturizer that has SPF 15 in it. Then we have a perfect world. Oh, this stuff will make your skin feel brand new every time. I adore it. Seriously. It's, it's a guardian, so it protects your skin. You put it on under the foundation, and uh, it keeps everything out. It's great. Then we have some eye cream, which I don't use that very often, but it's wonderful when I need it anything puffy. Um, Nitamins are great for at night, making sure you have soft skin in the morning, uh, definitely hydrating your skin. And then, of course, a natural moisturizer. And then my powder, my favorite thing in the world, which is cloud because I'm that pale. So after a con or photo shoot is over and I no longer have to have the blue makeup, first off I just use some basic water to rinse it off and get all the uh, excess blue and then I wash with this which helps really clean out the pores and I get it prepped. Face clean. Now I can use the charcoal mask which really gets deep in the pores and pulls out any toxins, anything like that and lets your skin breathe. So this stuff, highly recommend it. Of course, I highly recommend anything by Origins, so I have not had bad luck with any of their products, and I can guarantee you, you'll find something that you like there. This is probably one of the most important steps for avoiding acne. It really, really cleans out the pores. not pretty. <laughs> now we're covered in charcoal. We can sit and wait. You'll be able to tell when it's starting to dry because it really hardens. It'll be a little harder to talk. Then you can wash it off. After using such a deep facial cleanser, it's always important to put moisture back in your skin. So after I take off the charcoal mask, I go ahead and do my nightly routine. So, start off with Nitamins. This stuff, it's kind of a thick paste. And you rub it in just like you would moisturizer. Never use too much, otherwise your skin will seem waxy. And no one wants to do that. <laughs> After you have your vitamins on, a normal moisturizer, just a little bit, and remember, moisturizer is not the enemy. 
A lot of people think that putting moisturizer on your skin is going to give you more acne. That is not the case. You see, your skin that craves moisture, and when it doesn't have enough moisture provided for it, good moisture, it will create negative moisture, which is oil, <laughs> and then you're going to end up with acne. So the best thing to do is get a really good moisturizer and stick with it. In the beginning you may think that you have a little more acne, but after your skin adjusts to having moisture on it every day, it will thank you. And it will also help you not to have premature wrinkles. It's just great for your face all around. So, moisturizer every night, hopefully in the morning too. Avoiding breakouts isn't only about what you do right after a con. It's an all day, all year thing. So you need to take care of your skin all the time so that once you do put on a ton of makeup, then when you take it off, your skin can adjust easier. So every morning I start off by splashing my face with really cold water. I know that doesn't sound pleasant, but cold water actually shrinks the pores and then when you put your moisturizer on in the morning, it will absorb in. Be perfect. I swear. Try it a couple days and your face will look a lot smoother. So, to start off, splash your face. After I splash my face with cold water, the first thing I use is a Skin Guardian. And this stuff is like heaven. Seriously, it's called a perfect world and it really is perfect. It slides on like a cloud. And instantly your skin feels younger. If you can't get anything else from Origins, I recommend this stuff. And again, it's a skin guardian called a perfect world. After that's rubbed in, we use some moisturizer. And I use the light colored moisturizer that has SPF 15 in it. Still not pale enough for me, but I'm abnormally pale. You'll be able to find a color. <laughs> All right. So now my skin is protected, it's shielded from the sun, has plenty of moisturizer to keep it going. What you do next? Powder. It's a silk screen powder. I don't use any foundation on my skin whatsoever. I think it clogs up your skin and you just want to avoid that at all costs. So, powder it is. It's very light, and it works just as well. So, my skin is clean, it's moisturized, it's soft, it looks like the skin of a 15 year old even though I'm 22. So, it, uh, yeah, origins all the way. Also, someone else asked me what kind of eyeliner I use, and that's this Physician's Formula stuff. It's in a pin. It's kind of like a felt tip. It's really fun. <laughs> Give the head a shake. The hair down. And there you go. So I hope I was able to help you a little bit. If nothing else, you at least now know that there's an amazing company out there that you can look into. And obviously, I can't guarantee my method will work for you. Everyone's skin's different, so you may have to try around a bit and find out what's right for you. But definitely make sure you get a good moisturizer. And again, the Skin Guardian is my favorite thing in the world. So I'll leave that up to you to look into. And uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day and I'm sure I'll see you around.